Now 6.35, a recent study says those who died by suicide didn't always have a known mental illness. Jessica Reyes is talking with experts this morning about what parents can do now to help their kids later on in life. Very important information for parents to know, Jess. Yes, very important. Experts are telling us that mental illness often stems from childhood experiences. And what I'm talking about is how children and kids cope with bad experiences. Now, we'll determine how they handle their problems when they're older. Amanda Davis with St. Luke's Crittenden Children's Center says it's important to let your kids make mistakes now so you can teach them to be resilient from letting them try out for a sports team that's really competitive and letting them not make it um, and teaching them how to keep going and to find something else to do instead. But building all of those little experiences over time are what's gonna help them to deal with those really stressful life events. And Joe Gina, something that we should all be doing is being very careful how we post our condolences on social media. For example, if someone died by suicide, we should never say that they're now in a better place because that could be interpreted as saying that suicide was the best option. Reporting live in Kansas City, I'm Jessica Reyes, KCTV 5 News. Kansas